Hello there, Internet, and welcome to Geeky Ant. And on this episode, I am going to be unboxing my Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles NECA Mighty Metalhead. So let's go ahead and check this figure out. <laughs> Alright, so you can see here the box comes in the classic VHS box with the classic FHE for Family Home Entertainment, I believe. Uh, same logo depiction that was on the classic uh, VHS tapes back there. And I'm going to explain to you why I'm holding the box like this in this uh, angle. So here's a nice little side view, the Mighty Metalhead, uh, volume number one. Pretty super cool. Um, here is the back of the box where you go ahead and get a nice little biography of what's inside. And this figure, I have to tell you guys, is pretty freaking badass. I am so happy that I'm unboxing my NECA figures because even though we have a nice little window display in the packaging, it doesn't do the figure justice. As I mentioned earlier, there was a reason why I was holding the box at a certain angle. It's because I was impatient and I opened up the box a couple days earlier to see the figure in detail and I went ahead and put him back because I didn't want to have anything damaged on him. There's a little piece in the back which you'll go ahead and see soon. A little toggle switch that can get damaged. But this is the inside of the package here and you got a nice little picture of Metalhead. But that's not what we're here for. We're here to open them up and see what's inside the box. So, when you get them opened up, it comes in a nice little package here. And what's cool is, uh, when you open up the package, you get a backdrop of Channel 6 News. As you see my lovely face in the glare. Channel 6 News of that building in beautiful New York City. So let's go ahead and talk about accessories first before we discuss Metalhead himself. So right out of the package, Metalhead stands at around, I want to say, 8 inches or so? Uh, never mind. A tad under 6 inches. And we'll go ahead and compare them to the other TMNT figures. But let's talk about accessories right now. So Metalhead, as you can see, he comes with four hands. However, they are still... Uh, bungee tied into my package because I didn't want to go ahead and you know risk losing them or anything I have everything in Ziploc bag but you can see here he's got different poses four different grips and he comes with four of those four additional ones and he has two on him right now another accessory piece he comes with is a vacuum which is a classic scene in the turtle cartoon back in the day he comes with a little blaster which I'll go ahead and show you how that pops into him and also he comes with his drill claw hand now these two pieces here do interchange into his hands and this piece I'll show you where it goes but let's go ahead and talk about how magnificent this mighty metal head is so let's first talk about articulation here so he does have a swivel at the head joint he does have uh, basically just up and down single rotation on the shoulders he does have a little bit of movement on the shoulder bends he's got a, a bicep twist also a uh, looks like a shoulder or I'm sorry elbow good job Dan get your anatomy right elbow articulation and wrist wrist articulation at the hips he's got quite a f range extension on his hips you got ball joints right there you also got bends at the knee and you also got ankle rockers and ankle bends which can go ahead and do like a little ballerina tippy toe pose but uh so far i am just this meta head looks like it was taken right out of the cartoon like from this picture to here it's like 3d form uh on the back you can see he's got his turtle shell and this was the little piece that i was discussing earlier I've read a lot of people having their metalhead toggle switches being broken so this is one thing that if you do own metalhead make sure that you take extra care when you are moving him with this back piece here one very cool feature now that you basically have to play around with it is that his chest does open up and it reveals two secret compartments 
This is the blaster rifle that does just slide right in. I believe it's like this. Let's see here. It, it slides right in. Like that. And then that little cable piece, there's a little notch right underneath it that pops right in. So basically it's to mimic when he gets angry, he ejects the rifle out of his chest and starts to shoot. Let's go ahead and attach these accessory pieces and show you how that works. So these are all on peg joints. So you can see mine was already pretty loose, but they just pop right out and you can go ahead and it's got the peg and the peg hole pops right in. So you can now have him do vacuuming. And I believe there is articulation at this vacuum piece. Yes. So you can get a full extension on the vacuum when you want to go ahead and vacuum your display cabinet, I guess. Uh, and then the other part is you can go ahead and just swap this out real easy with NECA interchangeable hands. He's got the drill claw so he can go ahead and clean, drill, and shoot whoever he likes. This figure does retail for $29.99. However, due to the scarcity and the scalpers out there in the world, uh, on the secondary market, it is becoming more of a $60 figure, if you're lucky. Um, so these are sold at Target temporarily right now until things might change or not. But let's go ahead and compare uh, the size comparison of Metalhead to some other NECA TMNT figures. Here is Metalhead standing up next to the TMNT Turtles in Time Donatello and the TMNT Turtles in Time Foot Soldier. Now the reason why I have these two out is because it's the same exact sculpt, same scale, same size as the Wave 1 Ninja Turtles from the classic cartoon and Wave 2. All it is is a different paint deco. I do have my San Diego Comic-Con exclusive still boxed up, and that's one that I'm probably not going to be opening up. Uh, I'll go ahead and drop a link down below for that video. It is technically open, but just because that one hits more home towards the actual colors of the turtles, I prefer to leave those uh, in the package. But you can see here that Donnie is about five inches, the foot soldier is about six and a half, and a tad under metalhead. So that's the size comparison for Donnie and the foot soldier. Let's go ahead and bring in uh, the next group here. Here is metalhead standing next to Le leatherhead and slash. These two were recently reviewed by me, but they were not size comparison to metalhead. So you can see here the size difference. Slash is around five and a half inches. There's your metal head. And he is pretty much on scale with Leatherhead. Now, my Leatherhead is a little slouched. He does currently have a display stand uh, to hold him up. And I don't have his tail attached. But that doesn't add to the weight or the size scaling difference uh, when you're comparing Metalhead to the other two figures. My favorite duo of the NECA tune releases... And that's Bebop and Rocksteady. So, I love these figures because they stand up like real easily. Can't complain. Now, they look like they're right on the same size as Metalhead. So, that Bebop and Rocksteady 2-pack, you're essentially getting, you know, ultimate figures. So, it's not too shabby. So I will be reviewing these two guys by themselves because like I mentioned, I am going to be unboxing all my NECA figures. Uh, last but not least, I will go ahead and show you guys a quick uh, size comparison for one special viewer that requested a size comparison for Metalhead since this figure was released simultaneously with metalhead and that's casey jones he will be getting his own unboxing video as well but i wanted to go ahead and have the spotlight on metalhead so that's the size when you compare metalhead 
to Casey Jones. So my friends, that is the Metalhead Ultimate figure from NECA Toys. Do I recommend this? Oh, hell yeah. Uh, if you're a, a fan of the classic cartoon, you definitely know who Metalhead is, how Donnie created him and everything, so I do highly recommend it, if you can find it. Uh, th these figures are extremely hard to find, and if it was a Walmart exclusive, like the recently released Super Shredder, uh, good luck, my friends. If you like this video, go ahead and click that like button. If you guys are not subscribed to Geeky yet, go ahead and subscribe to our channel. It'll definitely help out Mary and I. And if you guys want to see anything differently with these reviews or unboxings or want to have more comparisons or additional photography, go ahead and drop a comment below. Until then, my friends, don't forget to geek out, stay geeky, stay safe, and we'll see you on the next video.